Hey guys, I'm Mike and I've been a carpenter for 25 years and today I'm making a custom comic book storage cabinet. Alright guys, here's the cabinet frame and this is constructed out of red oak and we have just made the face frames out of like, this is inch and a half dimensional lumber and we fasten these using a pocket screw system so it'll be nice and sturdy. The layout of this cabinet is going to have nine drawers. You can kind of see the three drawers on the top here already starting. We're going to just mimic this on the bottom. All right, so the first thing we got to do with this build is make the drawers. one of the finished drawers. The, the dimensions are 8 by 15 and, and a half and we made these drawers by rabbiting the, the corners out and we applied glue and did a couple of nails just to hold them in place so the glue dries. These drawers are constructed out of half inch birch plywood. Alright guys so the next thing that we're going to do with this build is finish putting these face frames onto the cabinet so let's get started. So now I got the face frame pieces all cut. I'm gonna put these into the pocket hole jig and drill the hole so we can fasten these to the cabinet. All right, so I'm gonna put this into this jig here and what this does is this guides this drill bit at a certain angle and I'll show you when I'm done what I mean. So this jig gives us the screw hole that's, that's angled. And we'll do the other side and then we'll put it in the cabinet. So I'm going to put this face frame piece in here. I'm going to check it for square and make sure that it's that it's sitting nice and square in the opening. And then we're going to use these special screws and fasten it to the frame. All right, so we got all the uh, face frame pieces uh, fastened to the cabinet. Next thing we're gonna do is put the accent trim pieces on, on the upper corners. And I'm gonna fasten these pretty easily. I'm just gonna put some glue on the back. And then where they go in the corner, and I'm gonna use a special brad gun that shoots a headless nail. That way, um, after, it after it, everything sets up, you won't even see the nail. Do that and just has to hold it until the glue dries. And that's it. And got to get the top all finished. It's in the glue up stage right now. We got to run it through the planer and get it all sanded, put that on, and then we're going to start staining. Okay guys, well we got this thing all um, finished and waxed, it's looking pretty good. And so now our next step is to put these custom uh, drawer pulls on that are finished in a, in a nice comic book theme. And uh, we're just going to center these up right here on the boxes, and once that's done, we're finished. Got the handles installed. Uh, they've got this really cool comic book pattern. They look great. This has been a really fun project to work on and I'm excited to see it in the client's home. They're going to put this in their game room and they're going to use it to store comic books. Thanks for watching. <laughs>